Unless you stayed home all day, even then, you had to deal with some crazy winds outside. Dolly Jan's Brona Tumulty is live at the museum campus where uh, we hope she's not going to blow away. Glad you have your hat on and you'd be eating your hair there. Good evening, guys. Yeah, I nearly did blow away earlier on. We have seen a few people down here braving the weather right now, though arguably fewer than would be down here at the planetarium normally if the weather was a wee bit nicer. We've also been keeping an eye on some of the damage Mother Nature has wrought around Chicagoland. It's not normal. I tend to walk every day, and I haven't seen it like this since maybe a year ago, so it's been a while. Greg Geraci likes to get his daily steps in. We walk out to Northerly Island. Um, as much as possible. Today, though, proven tougher than usual. I weigh a good 220 pounds, and I have to lean into it, to be quite honest, so it's difficult. Telling us his friend even got knocked over. I had a friend who was walking earlier today who got blown over by the wind. He's doing just fine, but Emily Hernandez says she was almost pushed into the lake. Yeah, with my jacket, since it was open, I nearly, like, it just blew me away, so quite literally blew me away. <laughs> She and her friend, Nicolas Vasquez, among those brave in the elements. It doesn't matter which direction you walk in, you're walking against it every single time. <laughs> With Mother Nature bringing down shop signs, at least one rooftop canopy, and pole after pole after pole. But that's not all. Oh yeah, there was a tree over there that was oh, fallen over. Multiple trees have been wrenched right out of the ground. This one came down in Evanston and neighbour Jim Blackowitz watched it fall. We're sitting at our, our breakfast area in the back over here and I just see this uh, big spruce move slowly right over. While well, the power went out and the birds will have to find somewhere new to live. The thing about this is all the birds who are panicking right now. He's thankful his garage and those nearby are still standing. All very lucky though, neither garage was uh, damaged. Now I'm told by weather producer Bill Snyder there back in the studio that we will see gusts as high as 65 miles per hour today and there's a high wind warning in effect for about another hour or so until 7pm. We're live on the lakefront, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News. Live intense, Bruno, thanks.